Galway prisoner says the IRA rejected a government deal to end the 1981 hunger strike that could have saved at least five lives. But his remarks in a new book have been met with an angry response from Sinn Féin. Here's Fergal McKinney. They were probably some of the most tense times that Northern Ireland went through in 30 years of violence. In a bid to win concessions from the government, Republicans went on hunger strike, demanding their own clothes and extra rights to place them apart from ordinary prisoners. After the death of a fourth hunger striker, writes Republican Ricky O'Raw in a new book, a deal was offered by an intermediary to the British government which saw four of the five demands met. Crucially, he says, the prisoners in the jail backed the deal but were overruled by the IRA Army Council outside. We accepted a deal after four men died, before Joe MacDonald died. A deal, went out, which, which, a deal from the British government, which came from a, a person codenamed the Mountain Claimer, who was a, from the British Foreign Office. We accepted the deal. The deal went to our leadership outside, and word came back that the leadership did not think there was sufficient in the offer for us to end the hunger strike. The allegation is that the Army Council wanted to lengthen the strike to ensure maximum sympathy in the run-up to the Fermanagh South Throne by-election. But the leader of the IRA in the H-blocks at the time says, oh, Raw's wrong. So who, who, who took the decision to reject that offer? Or I'm just saying, offer? Yeah, there was no offer of that at all description whatsoever. No offer existed. Because, I mean, in, in terms of bringing some form of, of closure to the hunger strike, if, if the British come up with the deal, I mean, why didn't they not just come and, and give it to the hunger strikers? Why didn't they not just come and get me? I mean, I'm there 24 hours a day under lock and key. Both sides are clearly disputing each other's version of events, but essentially it's a claim about leadership exploiting its members. Significant that as a former Mays prisoner making allegations about something previously untouchable, the memory of 10 men dead. Significant, too, that Mr. Raw feels that he is now able to make that claim, an indication of the pressure the IRA leadership is under. Fergal McKinney, UTV Live, Belfast.